Hey everyone, my name is Justin from justiscode.com and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm gonna show you a technique called pixel stretching. Pixel stretching is essentially just grabbing one single row of pixels or a line of pixels and stretching it out to create an interesting illusion on your photo. All you need to do is grab your single line marquee tool and that's either gonna be behind your rectangular marquee tools or sometimes it's in this more tools option if you haven't had it set. So it's the single column marquee tool and this is gonna create a column, so up and down. And for this photo, I think that would be interesting since these buildings are really vertical and square. So if I pick an interesting location to cut the photo, like right at the edge of this building where the sun is hitting, and then I press Command T, Photoshop will open up the transform, the free transform menu for this little single column of pixels. And then I just hold shift and then stretch it from the middle rightwards. And then you press enter and you see what happens when you stretch one pixel. So I'll command D, I'll deselect, is it creates an interesting kind of melted or blasted illusion that you could play around with to create some cool photo manipulations. Uh, here's an example where I'll do it with a row instead of a column. So let's grab the single row marquee tool and this works great for pictures with horizons in them. And then I'll press command T to open up free transform and then I'll just stretch upwards. Of course, it might not look good with every photo, but with certain photos, it just creates a cool illusion. And then you could also play around with blending modes and layer masks and blend in the original photo in some parts and get creative with it to create your own pixel stretched illusion. For example, you could just do one small part instead of the whole column. So if I grab my marquee tool and do that, and then I grab my rectangular marquee tool, I set it to subtract from selection mode, and then I subtract out the edges here. I can just do one small column of stretching. So really it's all about how creative you wanna get. I know that someone can come up with a really interesting use for this with the right photo. So here's a couple other examples that I did that are pretty interesting, I think. And then there's one more, but as you can see, it's a pretty interesting effect. And actually, if you guys wanna see me use this same technique with text, you could check out my tutorial that I'll leave at the end of this video called the barcode text effect, which is the same idea, but just with text. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on the pixel stretching technique. If you guys did, definitely leave me a like below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, definitely do that to stay tuned for future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.